Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, is your rabbit losing some excessive fur or too much shading? Uh, that's what we are going to discuss today. So basically, uh, rabbits like any other fur-bearing animals will be able to lose a little bit of fur. And that is not something that you should be worried about. Uh, because like any other fur-bearing animal like goats, cats, uh, dogs... They will lose a little bit of fur and you will come uh, to your to your farm and and you find some some fur in the cage that is probably okay you shouldn't worry about it so young rabbits are going to lose uh, their baby coat at about uh, five months old so that they are able to grow their adult coat so that is perfectly fine. You will come to the cage and you find that the rabbit uh, is losing some tiny, tiny bit of, of fur, uh, which is okay. However, if this is coupled with maybe loss of weight, that's when you should be worried. Rabbits can also lose fur if, if they are going to be delivering uh, because you find that their fur becomes loose like you see this one is an expectant rabbit but when you pull the fur you see that the fur just keeps uh, getting off so i am even not pulling hard but you see that the fur has become loose and they easily uh, get off so when this is happening you can as well uh, expect your rabbit to just find out uh, whether she is not pregnant because when they are about to give birth the fur will become loose, like you can see here, so that she is able to pull off some uh, to keep the baby kids warm. Uh, this rabbit did uh, uh, give birth to some bunnies, like you can see they are there in the nest box. So you see that it pulled a bunch of fur to keep the bunnies warm. Uh, rabbits also go through a uh, molt season uh, molting is when a rabbit sheds off uh, its coat uh, to grow a new coat and this happens uh, twice in a year so the rabbits will shed off their coat during hot seasons to grow a little bit of a lighter coat and also to keep them cool during the hot season and they will do the same uh, during are very cold seasons where they shed off the light coat and grow a more heavy coat to keep them warm uh, during the hot season. So when this happens, uh, there's nothing to worry about. Rabbits will go through this malt season every year. However, there are situations where you find that a rabbit is stuck in the malt and you may need to, to assist it uh, to kind of uh, shed off the addition of fur so normally the fur just peels off easily so you can just uh, pluck off the fur from the back or from the sides so this fur will easily come off if it is in in the molting season normally this shouldn't last long it lasts about uh, a week or two and the rabbit should be able to have shed all the unnecessary fur and grow a new coat. So how do you know that your rabbit is in molt? Uh, the molt normally starts from the head side and then spreads downwards. Uh, how are you going to know that uh, your rabbit is probably in, in molting season? You're going to see that it's going to have patches where you see that there is new fur that is growing. So you see like around this area here, you see that there is new fur that is growing. So you're going to kind of see a patch, which means that the fur has come off and then there is a new fur that is growing. So that's how you, 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 you know that your rabbit is in the malt. Uh, this is a very beautiful American chinjira of, of good weight. And you can see that uh, this is a very lovely uh, rabbit. So far what we have discussed, uh, basically you don't have to do anything if that is what is happening to your rabbit. 
uh, it should be able to handle it by itself unless if it is stuck in the mold and you need to assist it a little bit uh, you can get um, a comb okay and just comb the fur going backwards and that should be able so the comb will be picking up the loose fur and getting it off so you literally get the comb and comb going backwards or uh, coming in uh, in front and that should be able to to get off uh, some fur if the if the rabbit is stuck in the mold and but now there is a, there's there's when you need to pay more attention to your rabbit and this is if you're having a rabbit that is looking like this one so it's constantly shading the the fur but also this is coupled with a, a reduction in in weight so you like you can see these ones here so now here you have a problem and um, this can be caused by internal parasites uh, in, in, in the rabbit. Uh, this can also be caused by uh, fur mites uh, that is on your rabbit. So when you have a situation like this, now you need to, to seek um, help and, and, and give the, your rabbit treatment. Like you can see these rabbits have kind of gotten a reduction in in body weight uh, like you can see this one here and the fur is almost um the rabbit is almost naked uh, uh, that's what i can say uh, you can see the same thing is happening to that one so now with this you need to give your rabbit treatment and for us what we have found to to work is uh this uh, treatment for skin diseases called ivermectin or indamectin. Uh, this is a very good one uh, to be able to to cure this uh, disease for your rabbits. For rabbits which are smaller in size like these ones, for us we have uh, administered and this, this, this drug is an injectable so you can get uh, services from your nearest vet uh, or if you know how to administer uh, these drugs you can administer 0 0.2 0 0.2 mils that is injected in the skin so you pull the skin uh, like this and then you inject under the skin uh, this is not medical advice that we are giving you but uh, this is based on our experience as as rabbit farmers so this we have found that uh, this uh, works for us when you administer uh, this ivermectin uh, it's going to take about two weeks and then you will start to see some results uh, where your rabbit is is going to start gaining some weight and then it is going to start uh, gaining some getting back some fur so we'll be administering uh, the, the drug to this rabbit. And the other thing that you can probably do is to isolate. Isolate the sick rabbit uh, from, from the rest of your flock as this disease can be passed from one rabbit to another. That's why you see that we have isolated these three in this cage while we're going to be uh, paying sp special attention to them. Please, this is a serious... Uh, this is a serious condition when you realize it in your rabbits uh, ensure that you provide uh, remedies uh, urgently ensure that you also give uh, multivitamins to your rabbit during this process as it is going to help them to recover uh, faster uh, thanks for watching if this video has been uh, useful or if you enjoy watching this kind of content please give it a like uh, subscribe to the channel and share with a friend as that helps us to grow the channel here on youtube uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video